Good morning, and welcome to a stirring discussion on the differences between true and true. I've noticed a few folks over the last semester or two um, take two different meanings and, and do this true-false thing a couple different ways, and there's a right way and a wrong way, actually. Let's take a look at a little sample scenario that I bought or built up here for us today. Um, went to the baseball games this weekend. The Knowles beat Savannah State 10 to nothing in the first game on Friday, and on the second game they beat Troy 11 to nothing. So let's just write a couple formulas a couple different ways and show you the differences between true and true. And by that, I'm talking about the Boolean value of true and a text value, if I can spell, geez, not enough coffee. Those two trues look the same, but they are not. One thing that jump out at you right quick is the fact that that one is centered and that one is, a, is on the left margin, mainly because this is a string just containing the letters T-R-U-E in capitals, and it treats that cell as a string or a, a text value, just like if I put the letter X in here and a number 1 there, numbers line up on the left, strings line up on the left, and booleans line up in the middle. But it gets a lot deeper than that. It can get very confusing and render wrong results if you're not careful about this. So let's say that I write this formula a couple different ways here. So I say equals, the best way to do this is not even use an if sign, but you can just say that greater than that, and that'll tell you true. But what a lot of folks do, as opposed to just putting the little formula in there, they'll use an if statement. And that works as well. It's not ideal, but it works. So I can say if logical test this greater than this true false. And that works as well. But what a lot of folks tend to do, a lot of students that aren't experienced in the ways of the Boolean logic is they will surround those letters in quotes, making it a text value that just shows the letters true and letters for false. And it looks like that's right. Did we win? Yeah, that value is greater than that one. I can even look at the formula, evaluate the formula, is that value greater than that? I can step in and say, is 10 greater than 0? Evaluate that. It's true. Evaluate that. So it comes back to say true. So it looks like that works. Now let's do this a different formula here. Equals if that greater than that, true, false, the correct way. And then I can do a little Boolean logic here. Did we win both games? So are both of those true? I can say uh, equals and this comma this. Are both those true? Yeah, they are. Kind of. Why do I say kind of? Because this is a, a text value that says true, and this is actually the, the word or the Boolean value of true. Now let's do something a little different to show you just how this can actually be wrong. So did we win by greater than 10 runs? This one, we beat them by 10 runs, so that will be a false. So equals is this, oops, if this greater than this plus 10, if 
it is, do true. If it's not, do the text version of false. So that's false. Take that same formula and copy it over to here and change it by taking out the double quotes, making this a boot, this a true Boolean result as opposed to a text result. So now we have true and false. So if I ask the question, do we win both games by greater than 10 and use that same formula equals and this and this, we would think that would be, did we win both of them? You got a false and a true, that should be a false, right? If I hit enter, comes back as true. It reads these text values as true, even if they say false. So it is never correct to embed true false statements in an if statement and surround them by quotes. So just take that as a lesson learned and don't do that on your homework or the exam. Hint, hint, hint. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.